Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. I'm Ms. Presley, and it's my privilege to be the principal here at Alice Drive Middle, a nationally accredited STEM school. Our goal is to provide a STEM education that equips our students with the skills they need to be innovative and creative problem solvers. Using our Hawks engineering design process, our students learn how to solve complex real world problems. And we all know the problem that we face or the challenge that we face right now is COVID-19 and the, and the limitations that it puts on our school. I can assure you that our team is using that design process to ensure that we offer a quality STEM education for all students. Let's join Mr. Mesitis. He's one of our assistant principals. He's going to introduce to the people on our team that are making this happen and to share with you where we are at the beginning of this journey. Hello to everyone watching. I also want to welcome you to the beginning of this new school year. I am Mr. Mesitis and I will have the great pleasure of being the sixth grade assistant principal. I will also be your host for most of this orientation video. This video has been designed to guide you through the beginning of the school year. My goal is for each and every student and their parents to feel as comfortable as possible as we start this school year. I know that things are very different this year and that can be very scary, so that's why we want to give you as much information as possible. We all know we are living through a challenging time right now, and this pandemic has made the start of the school year even more difficult than normal. But that does not mean that we cannot do it. We just all need to work together. At ADM, we do not shy away from a challenge, but rather we work to rise above it. I know watching a video for orientation is not ideal, just like learning virtually is not ideal. We would love for you to be able to be in the building and we look forward to us doing that when it is safe to do so. But I want you, as you watch this, to really try to focus in on the content so you can have all the information you need to succeed. So here's what you can expect. First, you will be introduced to some of our wonderful teachers and staff. Next, I will show you how to get into your correct Google Classrooms. Then I will show you a little of what you can expect from virtual learning, kind of like a walkthrough where you can see my screen from what a student's standpoint would be like. Finally, I will go over some vital communication information and more. Just so we're clear, this video is not about our hybrid plan. This is not because we don't have one, because we have lots of plans in place for a safe and controlled re-entry for students. But rather, since we are starting this year virtually, it makes sense to focus only on that first. This will help the information you receive to stay more clear and concise and it really just makes things a little less confusing in a pretty confusing time. When district leadership determines it is safe for students to return, I assure you we will release another video explaining our hybrid plans in great detail. All right, well, that is probably enough of my voice for right now. So let's get this started by showing you some of our teachers. Just as a quick disclaimer, I want to note that we felt it was important for you to see our teachers and staff without their masks on so you can see their full faces uh, like you will uh, during virtual when they're alone in their classrooms. But of course, we are all practicing safety and all staff members are wearing their masks and practicing social distancing while they're at this school building. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to our exceptional teachers and staff. Let's begin. Good morning, I'm Mr. Fair, seventh grade administrator here at Alice Drive Middle School. I just wanted to welcome you to the 2020-21 school year. I know that this is going to be a different year, but you know that we're up to the challenge. Please let us know if I can do anything to help you, or please feel free to call or come by. I look forward to working and meeting you this school year. Good morning. My name is Janaea Edwards and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Alice Drive Middle School, a nationally accredited STEM school. First and foremost, I would like to say welcome and we look forward to a great year. We know this year will be different for everyone, but we want to make sure that not only are we looking at our academics, but we're also focusing on you, the students and the parents. With that being said, welcome to Alice Drive Middle School. 
Let's have a great year. I'm Mr. Shira, sixth grade math. I've been working at Alice Drive Middle School now for 14 years. It is the best middle school in Sumter County, and I'm excited about you starting sixth grade at Alice Drive Middle School. Hi, I'm Ms. Griffin. I teach sixth grade math here at Alice Drive. I've been teaching for 10 years. Um, when I'm not in the classroom, I love watching football and baseball, especially Carolina Gamecocks, and I can't wait to meet you guys. Welcome back to school students and welcome to The Nest. I'm Mrs. Snyder, sixth grade honors math and project lead the way teacher here at Alice Drive. This is my 14th year in the classroom and my 23rd year in education. I'm a proud graduate of the University of South Carolina and a National Board Certified Teacher. I'm looking forward to working with you and making this an amazing and successful school year. Hey guys, welcome to 6th grade. My name is Mary Elizabeth Davis. I teach 6th grade at ELA. I teach honors and regular. Um, this is my fifth, my, my 25th year coming in. I'm very excited to meet you. Um, this is going to be a different year, but I love a challenge and I love different things and learning different things. So learning with a computer is going to be fun for me and you as well. Um, look forward to seeing you. Hope to see you face to face soon and let, we'll have a great year. Hi, I'm Ms. Tisdale. I'm the sixth grade science teacher here at Alice Drive Middle School. I've been here for five years. I've been teaching 18. I'm a graduate of South Carolina State University with a major in biology, and I cannot wait to eventually meet all of our rising sixth graders. Can't wait to see you. Bye. Hello, I'm Angela Adams, and I teach sixth grade science here at Alice Drive Middle School. Welcome to science. I'm so glad that you'll be with me this year, first virtually and then in person. I can't wait to meet you. Hi, I'm Teal Kirkhart. I teach uh, sixth grade World History Honors here at Alice Drive Middle. Um, we are located right now in room 125, um, a room that I have been uh, attached to for what well, we just decided 14 years. I'm looking forward to seeing your faces um, very soon. Hello and welcome to sixth grade at Alice Drive Middle School, home of the Hawks. I am Kelly Mills. I teach sixth grade social studies and cannot wait to have a fabulous year with you virtually or in person because we are all in this together. Hi, I'm Ms. Kerman. I teach sixth grade social studies and I am really looking forward to sharing my love of history with you. Hi, sixth graders. My name is Ms. Coffey. You'll see me with this often, so that'll help you remember who I am. Welcome to Alice Drive Middle School. Um, I'm an ELA teacher and a math teacher, depending on which hat I have on. Sometimes you might see me as a science teacher with Ms. Adams, or you might see me with Ms. Kerman in social studies. So I'm looking forward to meeting all of you virtually, and then hopefully face-to-face -face very soon. Hi everyone, welcome to Alice Drive Middle. I am Aaron J. Koga, your sixth grade resource teacher. I know we're in this tough situation right now, but we can do this together. With our school leaders, teachers and staff, we can all protect the nest. Hi, I'm Lori Link. I teach computer apps here at Alice Drive Middle School. I teach mainly sixth graders, and I've always had a curiosity about computers and how they work and how they can actually make life better for us all. Hi, my name is Ms. Wilson and I am excited about the upcoming school year. This is my 16th year of teaching and my second year here at Alice Drive Middle School. I will be teaching PLTW medical detectives as well as STEM science research. One interesting fact about me is I love to dissect organs and animals, but I am afraid of bugs, slugs, snakes, turtles, and frogs. I look forward to seeing you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gallegos. I teach STEM independent studies and go green. This year you're going to learn about a lot of different competitions we're going to enter. I'm so excited to see you. I miss you guys. I'm so ready to do virtual teaching. Hi Hawks, it's Mrs. Buckingham. I will be teaching 6th through 8th graders this year for automation and robotics and for flight and space through Project Lead the Way. I am super excited because I am obsessed with STEM, technology, critical thinking, and I hope that you guys are excited to get started. I know it's going to be a little different this year, but we will make it work and we will problem solve through all of our issues. 
I am a married with two kids and two dogs, so I have quite an awesome family. And something fun about me that you might not know is I actually got dive certified at 16. It was pretty cool. Can't wait to get to know you. Hey guys, I'm Ms. Hannaford. I teach sixth grade PE. Um, I've been teaching here for seven years. I graduated from USC and I can't wait to meet y'all soon. Hi, I'm Ms. Collins. I will be teaching Spanish this year. Although the year is starting off a little different, I am looking forward to seeing all of you once we start the hybrid school year. I'm Ms. Hoffman, the art teacher at Alice Drive Middle School. I've been at Alice Drive for eight years. I am a graduate of Francis Marion University with a major in art and art education, and specialty areas are painting and photography. I have two sons, ages 17 and 13, and I have been married to my wonderful husband for 25 years. I look forward to teaching you art this year. Hey sixth graders, I'm Mr. Bear. I'm your orchestra teacher. I'm super excited to meet all of you. Teaching beginners is one of my favorite things. Everything is new and exciting, and this year will obviously be a learning experience for all of us, including me, but I promise all my students, I give them this promise at the beginning of the year, is if they come with me each day with a willingness to learn and do their best, um, you'll be successful, and I've yet to have a student prove me wrong on that. Even though we're having an odd start to the year, I know long term, this will even make us stronger. Hey guys, I'm Mr. B. I'm the band teacher here at Alice Drive Middle School. I just wanted to take a minute to welcome you all to Alice Drive and uh, express to you that we are so excited to have you here in the building. Uh, we do still have space available in band if any of you are interested in participating. We have lots of fantastic instruments for you to choose from. Uh, I hope to see you later on this year. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Howie, the new choir director here at Alice Drive Middle School, and today I wanted to share with you a quote from Leonard Bernstein, a famous American composer who was born during the Spanish influenza pandemic and actually lived through World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. He said that music can name the unnameable and communicate the unknowable. I hope you'll join me this year in taking all of our feelings about our current world and changing them into something amazing with music. I look forward to meeting you soon. Hi, I'm Dr. Am, and I'm a STEM lead teacher here at ADM. I'm very excited about all the amazing STEM opportunities that we have to offer to our students this year. I know that you will make a great contribution to our STEM program. Remember, if you have any questions or if you have a great STEM idea that you want to share with me, do that and we'll see if we can incorporate it into our curriculum. Remember to have a wonderful STEM-tastic year and remember to always to soar. Hi, I'm Stephanie Barano and I'm the Curriculum Coordinator at Alice Drive Middle School. This is year number 22 for me, not including the three when I came through here a long time ago. I cannot wait to see the kids' faces, even if it's three virtual. I have missed everybody, and it's gonna be a great year. Go Hawks. Okay, great. Now that you've got to meet our staff, let's talk about how you get to learn from them. Because if you can't get into the correct Google Classrooms, you really can't do any of the virtual learning. So it's really important that you understand what you need to do in order to get into your Chromebook and into the Google Classrooms. So if you've already come through the drive through line, you should have received a lot of important materials. But in that, I'm going to be talking and referencing three important things. The first is the Level Data Directory Manager. Next is your schedule. And finally is the Google Classroom codes. Okay, so let me pause for a minute here just to explain our schedule some because it can be very confusing if you're not used to it. So Alice Drive Middle has an A day, B day schedule. And this is not related to the A and B groups that the district has talked about for hybrid. We've had an A, B schedule for years now. So don't let that confuse you. This is not related. So everybody has A and B classes. You should have four of each. The only exception would be actually on this one, this is a good example, where PE and health are rolled into the same block. Other than that, you should only have one of each block, meaning you have a total of eight classes, four on each day. All right, 
right, so this first step is really something if you've been here already, you would already know. But if you're new, this is highly valuable information. So when you first open up your Chromebook, you'll get a screen like this. And you'll need to enter your username or your email, which should be your first dot last name at sumterstudents.net. And you'll notice that that at sumterstudents.net is automatically put in there for you. So you just hit next and enter your password. I have to type mine in because mine is at sumterschools.net. And you could find, again, your username and password on the Level Deck Data Directory Manager. All right, now that you have successfully logged into the Chromebook, let's get you into your Google Classrooms. So you need to click the Chrome icon at the bottom here. And when you open Chrome, you'll see that you're already logged in. And if you hit the Google Apps waffle right here, you'll see all the Google Apps that you have access to. Right now, you need to click on the Classroom so you can go to your Google Classroom. And many of you, when it loads, will see a bunch of classrooms that you may already be in from last year. From here, if I've already got invitations from uh, teachers, I can go ahead and hit join. And this is how you'll get invitations from your related arts teacher, meaning any teacher that's not math, science, ELA, and social studies. So if you just hit join, it's going to take you to that Google Classroom. It'll put you right in there. So then you'll have access to the classwork and all the announcements. My lovely wife was nice enough to let me join her class just for this video. So the other way to join Google Classrooms, which is what you'll do for your science, social studies, ELA, and math, is by hitting this plus sign. So when you hit the plus sign and hit join class, you'll have to put in the class code, which again, you can find on your roster. So for this example, I had Miss Griffin for math for 4A. So I would find the 4A code and I would put that in. And when I hit join in the top right here, it will put me in that class. And now I have joined that class as a student. And if I do that for all of my four core classes and then accept the invites for my other classes, I will have access to all of the classes I need. So the Google Classroom is extremely important because this is the hub for where you will receive all of your information and assignments for your classes, where you'll turn in your assignments, where you'll connect with your teacher, including how you'll get access to the live video teaching, which your teacher will be doing every day. All right, so here is now perhaps the most important part of this entire video. What does virtual school look like? So you've got your Chromebook, you're able to log in, you've joined all the correct Google Classrooms by your schedule that you received through the drive through line. Now, what does this look like? Well, this virtual learning schedule is what the district published for Alice Drive Middle, that's us in Bates. So you would know, see that Monday is an A day, Tuesday is a B day, Wednesday is the time where you're at home doing asynchronous learning. You might have some things to catch up on from teachers, but you're not doing any live learning that day. Thursday is an A day, Friday is a B day. So remember your schedule, you have four A day classes and four B day classes. So you do all the A day ones on Monday and Thursday, and the, on Tuesday and Friday, you do the B-Day classes. Uh, don't get that confused again with anything with these groups during hybrid that has nothing to do with that. When we, it is safe to go to hybrid, we will explain all of that to you as well. So let's just look at our first day, which is Friday, the 28th. And that, you see, Friday's a B-Day. So I would need to go to my Google Classroom and be ready at eight o'clock for my first class. So. If my first class was, for example, Miss Mills, so my, I had a 1B Miss Mills class, what I would want to do is right before eight o'clock, I want to go to, into that Google Classroom and see what if she's posted anything for us, see if she's already got something to start working on, 
and I would just wait because we're going to be using GoGuardian video uh, as the live teaching platform. And what happens is your teacher will just start a session right at eight o'clock. And what they'll, that'll do is it'll actually pop up right on your screen and it will look like this. And you need to hit accept so that you join the session. It will have your teacher's name and you just hit accept. Then it'll ask for some permissions, uh, whether that's about your microphone and your camera and even about recording. And you need to hit accept to any of those permissions that come up. And then you'll get this screen where you should be able to see your teacher's face and you'll see some of the options here, but you need to hit join call and that will get you into the live session with your teacher. And from there, you just need to follow your teacher's instructions. They can mute your microphone, unmute it. Uh, your teacher will be able to chat with you. You'll be able to see what's on their screen like this. And that way they can go through their teaching of material for you. And they'll also be able to allow you to then go back to your Google Classroom and that would be in here, and you could do your classwork from there. They might put you on Google Docs with other students or slides or have um, other websites to go to to complete work, but you're in there live with your teacher and they're going to be able to instruct you from there. Now, will there be some bugs and glitches as we get started? I'm sure there will be, but you just need to be patient and uh, work with your teacher and do your best to try to make sure you are on time and into your the Google Classroom for each assigned block. So if I was at eight o'clock for my 1B, I would then need to find my 2B class. So say I had science for 2B, I would go into that and wait at 9.05, because 9.05 is when that class was going to start. And I would do the same thing at each block. See, you have a five minute break between each one. So at 10.10, I would need to be available for my third period of class. And when that comes up from the teacher, you have to accept the call. If you decline the call, uh, you're not going to get into the class originally. They can get you back in later, but it will also log that you declined the call. And that's not going to be something you want to explain to your parents that you declined going into the class. That's basically like you're going to be skipping class. You get an hour-long lunch from 11.10 to 12.10. And then block four, you need to be available at 12.15. And then that's over at 1.15. From 12, 1.20 to 3 o'clock is the teacher scheduled enrichment and support. And your teachers will give you a schedule. Each one has a separate time slot that they'll be available during that time. And that'll be really important for people to catch up on things or just if you didn't understand something, this is your time to ask. So um, everybody's on the same page about using this time wisely from 1.20 till uh, 3 o'clock. So if you didn't understand a lesson from, say, second block today in your science class, you need to contact that teacher between this time. They might already schedule it with you, but they're going to have a time that they're available to help clear up anything that you did not understand. And you can contact them at that time. That way you don't have to wait until later when your parents get home and say that, or whenever, to say that you didn't understand it. You need to get in touch with your teacher during that time between 1.20 and three o'clock so that you can clear up any misunderstandings we have. We want to make sure that you get the best chance possible to understand everything that your teachers are trying to teach you. So it will take a little bit of personal responsibility though to go ahead and contact them. And you could do that by email or by joining into their sessions, which are gonna be scheduled during that time. And your teachers will post their schedule for that enrichment time. But each one will have a set block that they are available each day. Okay, last thing I wanna talk about is communication. I know it seems really difficult to feel connected right now, but uh, our website, which is adm.sumterschools.net, or you can just search Google for Alice Drive Middle, is the best place to stay connected. Our front page tends to have the most up-to-date news and information. We have a back to school information tab, uh, and there's some really good online learning resources here, including some Google Classroom parent walkthroughs on this section. All this information is here for you. I also want to point out all these social media tabs, 
where there's our school app you can download, our Facebook page, Twitter, and YouTube, which is where this video you're watching now is housed. There's information for parents here, and that is how you can stay connected with the school. We are trying one new thing this year, just given the state of everything being virtual. We've actually created Google Classrooms for uh, every student per grade level. So we have a separate sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade classroom for all information to be sent out from. And we've created a separate parent Google Classroom for each grade level. So parents, you will be able to join a Google Classroom. You don't need a school account, but what you do need is uh, a Gmail, a Google account. So any G G Gmail email address will get you into it. So I'm going to post the correct grade level parent code on the screen right now. This is the code that parents would use to join their correct grade level classroom, depending on what uh, video you're watching. And this is where, this would be a form for you to ask questions, uh, to receive information and things like that. Students, and I already have some sixth graders in mine, um, I'll also post the correct code for you to join if you have not already joined through my invitation. We want to make sure you have lots of avenues to communicate with us and uh, make sure you feel real comfortable going into this school year. Of course, you can always email any of us and that information is on our website as well. I hope you feel more comfortable about the beginning of this school year. Once again, please follow us on our school's website, on our Facebook page, our school app, or simply just call us if you have any questions. I assure you as principal of Alice Drive Middle that our Hawks will rise.